I'm Phil Bolton with the Global Atlanta News Service, and I'm here today uh, with Ani Anihotri. Ani, uh, originally from India, has been in Atlanta since 1994, uh, from which time he has uh, been involved in many activities locally. He is the uh, founding president of the Georgia Indo Chamber of Commerce. He has been uh, extremely active with the Asian American Heritage Foundation and has launched uh, two film festivals in Atlanta, um, bringing Indian movies to the attention of Atlanta and Southeastern audiences. Professionally, Ani is the founding president of the U.S. Indian Business and Research Company. Ani, what does this company do? USIBRC, Phil, uh, is in the business of uh, promoting trade and commerce between USA and India. Help, uh, we help uh, small to mid-sized companies to do business in other countries and start up their operations, do some market research and reports for them to ascertain that uh, the, the business is viable and there is a client there. Is uh, the global recession having a substantial negative impact on India? Well, recession has uh, affected India like other countries, uh, but impact is not that bad. Uh, we expect uh, annual growth to slow down from 8% to 6% of the GDP. So impact is there, but it is not uh, as severe as it is here. What does it do for the small to medium sized company? in India and in the United States from your perspective? Well, uh, unfortunately, we have here a lot of uh, layoffs and uh, people are out of jobs. Small and mid-sized companies have to look for new markets, new opportunities, new vistas. So all these things, and India is uh, one of the fastest growing countries in the world, and uh, it's a huge market. A uh, lot of uh, huge population, 1.2 billion people, so it offers a lot of uh, opportunities for small to mid-sized companies. Small to medium-sized companies in the Southeast should be considering India as approachable or not? Yes, definitely it is approachable. It is uh, quite an uh, uh, attractive market once you penetrate in it. Uh, you do feel, uh, you do face uh, some bureaucracies and uh, initial entry might be slow, but once you understand, it is a very good market. You led a delegation uh, from the Georgia Department of Economic Development and the Metro Atlanta Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. How did they respond to the Indian market? Well, actually, I coordinated uh, this delegation for uh, Georgia Department of Economic Development and Metro Atlanta Chamber of Commerce. And uh, India is, of course, a very important country for our state in terms of uh, uh, on the growing horizons. And uh, we went to three cities, uh, Mumbai, Bangalore, and Delhi, and then Abu Dhabi and Dubai and uh, we met with about 40 uh, executives uh, of uh, sea level executives of uh, companies in different spaces invited them to come to georgia and start their operations like uh, wipro has done recently and uh, met with about 200 people will some of those people that you met there come to atlanta and georgia mm -hmm. yes were they were they enthusiastic about meeting American business people? Absolutely, uh, India uh, India holds uh, U.S. Uh, companies in a very high esteem, and uh, USA is India's most preferred nation in terms of exports. And uh, we met with uh, companies like Tata, which is India's iconic number one company, and we were told that probably we were the first ones from any state in U.S. to go ahead and meet with them the way we had coordinated. Have the Delta flights to India made a difference in terms of the attitude of local business people in terms of dealing with Indian businesses? 
Well, uh, Delta's direct flight to Mumbai has certainly uh, added uh, another feather to Atlanta or Georgia's uh, cap in terms of uh, easy, uh, easy access to India. And I think uh, we are seeing some uh, increasing traffic in that direction. It will take some, some more time, but you know, I'm sure this is going to go a long way. Of course, we were aware of the um, incidents in Mumbai, and, and you were there shortly beforehand. Is, is Mumbai going to um, recover? Yes, Mumbai is very resilient in terms of uh, being uh, New York of India. So they are already up and running, and uh, I'm aware of a very large delegation which was uh, led by a Washington-based uh, organization. Uh, so yes, activity has started. And, and you um, brought a delegation from Mumbai here that was composed of uh, representatives from uh, many of the universities in that area, including the sheriff of Mumbai. That's right. Uh, sheriff of Mumbai, as well as vice chancellor of Mumbai, uh, were here along with uh, 10 other colleagues uh, from October 25th through November 1st and that was also coordinated by USIBRC. And we actually coordinated uh, meeting with uh, 10 educational institutions here, uh, Emory, Georgia Tech, Georgia State, Kennesaw State, Clayton State University, Agnes Scott, uh, Argo C University. Uh, so uh, those are the areas in which USIBRC is getting into. How does your company differ from the activities of the Georgia Indo-American Chamber, which you founded? Uh, GICC is a, a voluntary organization, you know, we, uh, we, we do some good job of uh, doing initial network and uh, receiving dignitaries, uh, but they are not hardcore on-ground consultants services, you know, if suppose uh, a client needs a license in India, so, you know, it can be done only by companies like USIBRC. Uh, GICC is not hands-on and uh, you know uh, there is uh, the service which is uh, very uh, customized service which is given by USIBRC. What brought you to Atlanta? A job. <laughs> I, uh, I, the, it's very interesting story the way I came to down south here. I came to U.S. in 1991 to do my MBA, went to Kansas uh, State University. And uh, because I used to play table tennis, ping pong at national level, I got a scholarship to come here in South in Augusta. And uh, once I graduated, Augusta does not have job for foreign students, too many companies, you know, who would sponsor. So that's how I found a job in Atlanta and came here. Uh -huh. And compare the Atlanta of the early 90s with that of uh, 2009? Well, uh, the first comparison, which is very obvious, is to uh, about my activities. It has become very international, especially after Olympics. Uh, even within the Indian American group, we have had the fastest uh, growth rate among uh, South Asian or Asian communities. That's uh, another big one. Uh, I'm seeing uh, we have uh, in excess of about 200 uh, Indian and Asian companies, Asian could be about 500, you know, who have come here in the last 10 years. And, uh, you know, we have uh, lots of projects, uh, you know, be it in the housing areas, be it in the environmental side, which are going on here, which makes uh, Atlanta very attractive for Asians and Indians to be here.